What a what a! Here we go again. We are back with some more mystery case files. Thirteenth Skull. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to ask you if you like these videos, please click the like button. And if you haven't done so already, click subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications on when I upload new content. Anyway, we last left off. We uh, met a very curious character named Travis Cooter Landry. And uh, old Cooter gave us quite a bit of information about a, a pirate, uh, Phineas Crown. And it seems that the, the stories that he told us of Phineas Crown coincide with those of the articles that we found about Ponser. Uh, and somehow all this has to do with uh, Mr. Lawson's disappearance. And uh, he also told us that Mary Lee, the uh, helper, is into some voodoo. But anyway, we were going to head in and meet old Cooter's wife. So let's go introduce ourselves. And there she is. Oh, and her name's Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hi, detective. Welcome to Louisiana. My name's Charlotte. Okay. Why don't you cool off with a nice cold glass of lemonade? No, I take it you. you've had the misfortune of meeting my other half, Cooter. Good mercy. Where did I go wrong to marry that sack of bricks? Um, wow. Uh, do you know anything about your neighbors? Yes. We finally have some new faces just down the lane. I still should throw them a proper housewarming. I'm afraid Cooter doesn't like me leaving the house as he is just plumb sure that I will run off with another man. Anyway, I just spend my days watching my stories and... Working on my doll collection. How do you collect dolls if uh, you can't leave? And that's kind of uh, weird. Just saying. What's up with the parrot? Mr. Crickets belonged to my dear mother before she passed, rest her soul. You see, mother was deathly afraid of snakes. And since snakes are afraid of parrots, well, she found a feathered friend and a protector in Mr. Crickets. Hmm. I apologize for the vulgarity the bird has learned from my loathsome husband. You really don't like your husband, do you? Anyway, um, the dolls. Can you tell me about your doll collection? What's up with it? Oh. My dolls are my pride and joy. The doctor told us years ago that we should not have children because of Cooter's temper. Doctor but was right. Their tiny voices console me at night when I wish that I had made better life choices. Aside from Mr. Crickets, my dolls are my prized possession. I only need one more to complete my collection. And there's one in that game down at the tavern. I've never had the good fortune of getting it out. Okay, so how do you know that it's there if you can't go out and you've had fortune of the parrot? Can I talk with uh, Mr. Cricket? <laughs> Poopy bird. Poopy bird? <laughs> pretty doll, pretty doll. <laughs> Alright. So anyway, um, let's see. That's a pretty good drawing. I am quite the artist. Uh, after winning his trust by fixing the air conditioner, Mr. Larson invited me inside to meet his wife, Charlotte. Charlotte has an agreeable disposition, but it's hard to miss the flicker of crazy behind her eyes. Right. Um... Uh, She disavowed any familiarity with the Larsons, or Lawsons, I keep calling them Larsons, Lawsons, and stated that she rarely gets out of the house because of her husband's jealous nature. Ugh. The modest home is fairly nondescript, save for a noisy parrot and a locked chest that I was instructed to stay away from. Um, no I wasn't. Anyway, the parrot named Mr. Crickets belonged to Charlotte's mother before she died. Apparently, her mother was afraid of snakes and believed Mr. Crickets to be some kind of snake deterrent. 
Um, the only additional item of interest is a small collection of dolls in which Mrs. Landry takes great pride. She has asked for my assistance in acquiring the doll, or the one dog that had done the one doll that eludes her at the tavern down the road. Like I said, crazy. <laughs> nuts, because there's nuts everywhere, and she's nuts. All right, so I think if I click here, she's gonna tell me not to go in there. Keep your hands off our property. Yeah. All right. AC's working. She's happy. Why does she have rollers in her hair if she can't go anywhere? Later, Cootie. Why are you pointing a gun at me again? This is not how you treat people that has helped you. All right. We shall head back to... What's up, uh, Lewis? Let's head back down to the Swaller. No, no, no. Swaller. Um, oh, we're gonna play this game over here. Let's put in a coin. I have coins. I have no idea what doll I'm looking for. Not cool. I guess I need uh, another quarter. Is there any kind of skill to this? Or am I just supposed to just keep pushing this button? <laughs> um, okay. What's that same weird doll? How many quarters do I have? Alright. Oh, okay. It's that one. Thought it was a weird one. Alright, we're gonna run back down here yet again to give this crazy lady this doll. I'm not sure why, though. Why am I giving a crazy lady a doll? Crazy ladies, uh. Well, I'll be. You've completed my collection. Oh, don't they look so happy all together like that? I wish I had some money to repay you, but Cooter handles the finances. I'll, I'll let you borrow Mr. Crickets for a little while, but. You have to keep him away from that Mary Lee. Why would I want to borrow your, your parrot? Like, seriously, why did she just offer me her bird? Not even to give it to me, to borrow. It's, it's your... Alright, well, well, I know why you want to keep her away from Mary Lee. But why... why According to your husband, I know why. But did, why, why keep her away? Why keep the parrot away from Mary Lee? That woman mm -hmm. working for them folks down the road should not be trusted. Why not? Who knows what kind of voodoo she could do to my sweet Mr. Crickets? If I were you, I would keep my eye on her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I gotta go question, uh... I have the bird. Uh, I have the bird. I have to question Mary Ann. I have the bird. <laughs> About her beliefs. And, uh, Mr. Cricket's flow out of my hands. All right. Oh, he flew back home. All right, that's fine. I kind of have a feeling I need to go get that, uh, all right, there's a bird cage up here, right? <sighs> We're 
rusty cage is tightly fastened. Lucky for me, I have a wrench. That's not what I need, though. How about, uh... Yeah, the screwdriver. That's what I needed. Um, honey doesn't... Bees don't like honey. Bees make honey. Anyway. Let's go talk to uh, Mary Lee. Nobody does it like Mary Lee. Just who do you think you are running around here making such a mess? That foul excuse for a dog got into the garbage that you saw fit to spread across the kitchen. Uh-huh. Now it is one thing to be investigating the disappearance of Mr. Lawson. It is entirely another to be making a mess for me. Now I suggest you find that trash and pick it up. Fair enough. That was my fault. Let me let me go pick up all this trash. Cuz uh Fair enough. Fair uh, like straight up. That was my bad. Hey, no, no, no. Go pick up all got to pick up all this stuff here. Is there did, it, did he bring any in here? I don't see any. All right. Any in the girls' room? Your dog been in here? No. I do not like you, Pippi. Not at all. Grab me that. What else do I need? Oh. That. Did bring anything down here? Into the weird place? No. Um, how about out here? Did you bring something out here? I don't know why she would care. What am I looking for? Looks like pie and a TV dinner. Oh, back up. I'm gonna go back. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm looking for the rest of the mess this dog made. Your brat dog bring any here and anything in here, Mrs. Larson? Lawson, Mrs. Lawson. Um, there's 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 the pie. And I think what uh, was the TV dinner? Is that it? Yep. All right. Now uh, what am I supposed to do with it? Dispose of the garbage in the kitchen disposal. Okay. <clears throat> Is that what we do now? We stick TV dinners in the garbage disposal? <clears throat> and tennis balls. Alright, so let's head back up now. Let's go uh, talk to Miss... Uh, let's go be rude, basically. So what's up with this and... What's up with me hearing about you and this voodoo? Ooh, detective. You smell like that garbage you've been picking up around here. If you've got a question to ask me, you best be quick about it. Oh, you know uh, who do that voodoo that you do. Like I said before, my beliefs are no concern of yours, Detective. If you have a hankering to find out about voodoo, I suggest you find your way downtown and speak with someone named Mama Amy. Uh, who's Mama Amy? She runs the store down the way. She should be open about now, and she can answer any questions you might have. Well, I was just down there. She was not open. But I have a feeling that she is now open, so I shall now go and speak with her. What's up, Louis? Um, yeah, see? Open. Hey, it's Miss Cleo. I'm gonna call her for my free reading. 